Welcome to another Chromatose Quick Start tutorial. In this video, we'll make a new patch from scratch. Open the main menu and make sure you're in design view. Tap new to start from a blank slate. Along the bottom are five buttons, four for generators and one in the middle for the mixer. Tap them to open and close their control panels. Generators are your visual sources. The mixer composites them together. First, let's clean things up a bit. Delete generator B and reset generator A to the defaults. Use the first tab to pick a generator type. We'll use lines. Open the color picker and choose anything except white. Tap the Y-axis parameter to open its pop-up. Go to the second tab for modulation. Adjust the rate to make it move. Lower depth to narrow the motion range. Close the pop-up to return back to the generator's main controls. You'll see an animated green dot showing the live modulated value and a blue ring for the depth. Add back in generator B so we can mix the two together. Notice how it appears above A. Generators stack from A at the bottom to D at the top. On the mixer, cycle through the composite and blend modes until generator B masks out generator A but keeps the original color. Now let's get trippy with some effects. In the mixer, tap the plus tab and add a feedback effect. Adjust it to your liking. Then add another edge effect. Effects get chained in serial, one after another. Add as many effects as you like to the mixer or any generator. Every effect has a dry wet knob that mixes the original signal with the affected signal. Turn it all the way down to bypass the effects completely. Or tap the effects tab to replace it. Or delete it. When finished, tap save in the main menu to store your patch. That's it for now but we've barely scratched the surface. So stay tuned for more tutorials coming soon. And don't forget to check out the Chromatose website for the full detailed user manual.